Chapter 83 Silas the Swift Sloth In the heart of the enchanted rainforest, where towering trees intertwined with colossal vines and a symphony of exotic creatures provided the background score, there lived a sloth named Silas. Unlike the typical sloth, Silas had dreams of being faster, more efficient, and incredibly swift. He was determined to prove that even a sloth could master time management. One sunny morning, as the forest glistened with dew and the birds sang in harmony, Silas, with newfound determination, set off on his journey to become the swiftest sloth in the enchanted rainforest. Silas's friends gathered around as he shared his goal. I've always admired the grace of the cheetahs and the agility of the monkeys, he confessed. I want to learn their secrets and become the swiftest sloth in the rainforest. His friends, including Carla, the curious capuchin, and Tommy, the tireless tapir, were intrigued by Silas's ambition. They decided to help him on his quest to become swift. Carla, known for her clever ideas, suggested seeking the advice of creatures known for their speed. Their first stop was at a clearing where they met Celeste, the swift cheetah. Celeste taught Silas about the importance of proper stretching and warming up to avoid injuries. Silas diligently followed her instructions, even though it took him quite a bit of time. Next, they visited Milo the masterful monkey, who was famous for his nimbleness. Milo showed Silas how to navigate the rainforest trees with grace and agility. Silas was determined, even if it meant moving at his own pace. With patience, he improved his tree-swinging skills day by day. As weeks turned into months, Silas's slow and steady approach led to progress. His newfound skills in stretching, agility, and problem-solving allowed him to become more efficient in his daily activities. Even his slow movements became more purposeful. One sunny afternoon, as they practiced tree-swinging with Milo, they heard the distant sound of a trumpet. It was Tessa, the timely toucan, known for her impeccable time management skills. She explained the value of setting priorities and creating a daily schedule to make the most of one's time. Silas took Tessa's advice to heart. He began to prioritize his tasks and set a schedule that allowed him to allocate time for stretching, tree swinging practice, and enjoying the beauty of the rainforest. One year passed, and Silas returned to the clearing where he first met Celeste. She watched in awe as Silas demonstrated his newfound agility and speed. His friends, who had been beside him all along, cheered with excitement. With a sense of accomplishment and newfound speed, Silas roamed the rainforest with pride. He might not have reached the speed of the cheetahs, but he had become the swiftest sloth in the enchanted rainforest thanks to his dedication to time management. Silas's story carried a valuable lesson for the children who followed his adventures. It was a lesson in time management, showing that even slow and steady progress could lead to significant improvements. It encouraged them to set priorities, create schedules, and make the most of their time. Silas, the swift sloth, had demonstrated that no matter one's pace, time management could make a world of difference in achieving one's goals. His friends, Carla, Tommy, and Tessa, continued to support him in his journey of becoming the swiftest sloth in the enchanted rainforest, where time was no longer an obstacle, but a tool to success. To be continued. Thanks a bunch for sharing this adventure with us. We had a blast, and we hope you did too. Remember to give that like button a friendly tap and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on more fantastic tales and giggles. Can't wait to see you again soon for another round of storytime fun.